Hello viewers, welcome back to Daily Fun TV. In this video we will talk about the carnivorous plants in detail which are also known as insectivorous plants. Let's start. Carnivorous plants are plants that derive some or most of their nutrients from trapping and consuming animals or protozoans, typically insects and other arthropods, and occasionally small mammals and birds. They still generate all of their energy from photosynthesis. They can be found on all continents except Antarctica, as well as many Pacific islands. In 1875, Charles Darwin published Insectivorous Plants, the first treatise to recognize the significance of carnivory in plants, describing years of painstaking research. True carnivory is believed to have evolved independently at least 12 times in five different orders of flowering plants, and is represented by more than a dozen genera. This classification includes at least 583 species that attract, trap, and kill prey, absorbing the resulting available nutrients. Venus flytrap, Dianaea mishipula, pitcher plant, Cephalotus follicularis, and bladderwort, Utricularia gibba, can be seen as exemplars of key traits genetically associated with carnivory, trap leaf development, prey digestion, and nutrient absorption. The number of known species has increased by approximately three species per year since the year 2000. Additionally, over 300 protocarnivorous plant species in several genera show some but not all of these characteristics. A 2020 assessment has found that roughly one quarter are threatened with extinction from human actions. Trapping Mechanisms Five basic trapping mechanisms are found in carnivorous plants. Pitfall traps, pitcher plants, trap prey in a rolled leaf that contains a pool of digestive enzymes or bacteria. Flypaper traps use a sticky mucilage. Snap traps utilize rapid leaf movements. Bladder traps suck in prey with a bladder that generates an internal vacuum. Lobster pot traps, also known as eel traps, use inward pointing hairs to force prey to move towards a digestive organ. These traps may be active or passive, depending on whether movement aids the capture of prey. Meanwhile, sundews are active flypaper traps whose leaves undergo rapid acid growth, which is an expansion of individual cells as opposed to cell division. The rapid acid growth allows the sundew's tentacles to bend, aiding in the retention and digestion of prey. Venus flytrap, Dianaea mishipula. The Venus flytrap, scientifically known as Dianaea mishipula, is a marvel of botanical adaptation. Its leaves are transformed into a pair of lobes, each fringed with spiky cilia. These cilia serve as trigger hairs, highly sensitive to touch. When an insect unwittingly lands on the lobes and brushes against these trigger hairs, a remarkable chain reaction is set in motion. The lobes snap shut with astonishing speed, creating a cage-like structure that entraps the prey. This rapid action is a result of an intricate interplay of osmotic pressure and cell expansion. These cells are concentrated on the inner surface of the lobes and swell rapidly when triggered, causing the lobes to close. It's akin to a natural spring-loaded trap, an evolutionary marvel that allows the Venus flytrap to capture insects for sustenance. Once captured, the plant's predatory prowess continues. This process transforms the prey into a nutrient-rich soup that the plant can absorb through specialized cells on the inner surface of the lobes. Pitcher Plants Genus Nepenthes The pitcher plants, encompassed within the genus Nepenthes, represent a diverse group of carnivorous plants distributed across various continents. What distinguishes these plants is their modified leaves, which form a conspicuous tubular structure resembling a pitcher. At the upper rim of the pitcher, a secretion of sugary nectar entices unsuspecting insects. Once inside, the prey encounters a treacherous terrain. The interior of the pitcher is lined with slippery walls and downward pointing hairs that impede escape. This combination of structural design and surface properties makes it exceedingly difficult for trapped insects to extricate themselves. The lower portion of the pitcher harbors a pool of digestive fluids. These secretions consist of enzymes like protease and chitinase, similar to those found in the Venus flytrap, tailored to dissolve the insect's tissues. Over time, the captured prey is broken down into a nutrient-rich broth, from which the plant can absorb essential elements. The pitcher plant's adaptation is a testament to nature's creativity in finding solutions to ecological challenges. By exploiting the behaviors of insects and the physics of their own structures, these plants have evolved into efficient predators, 
particularly in habitats where nutrient availability is limited. Sundews, genus Drosera. Sundews, members of the genus Drosera, are distributed across continents, except for Antarctica, and are celebrated for their intricate and beautiful sticky trap mechanism. What sets sundews apart is the presence of glandular hairs on their leaves, each tipped with a glistening droplet of sticky mucilage. This viscous substance serves as a lethal trap for unsuspecting insects. When an insect lands on a sundew leaf, it becomes ensnared in the adhesive goo. The plant then initiates a remarkable response. The surrounding glandular hairs begin to slowly move, curling over the trapped prey. This process, known as thigmotropism, is akin to a botanical ballet, as the sundew wraps its leaves around the prey, ensuring no part remains unsecured. These enzymes act swiftly, breaking down the insect's exoskeleton and soft tissues. The resulting nutrient-rich slurry is absorbed by the sundew's specialized cells, providing the plant with the essential elements it requires. Their ability to extract essential nutrients from captured insects allows them to flourish in habitats where other plants struggle to survive. Bladderworts, genus Utricularia. Bladderworts, members of the genus Utricularia, exhibit a fascinating adaptation for capturing prey in aquatic or semi-aquatic environments. These plants are renowned for their tiny bladder traps, which are essentially small hollow sacs under negative pressure. This unique structure allows them to capture prey with astonishing speed and precision. Cobra plant, Darlingtonia californica. The cobra plant, scientifically known as Darlingtonia californica, is a striking carnivorous plant native to the cooler regions of Northern California and Oregon in the United States. Its distinctive appearance is one of its most captivating features, with tubular, hooded leaves that bear a striking resemblance to the head of a cobra, complete with a forked tongue appendage. The entrance to the cobra plant's cobra's mouth is encircled by translucent windows. These serve a dual purpose. They allow light to enter, attracting insects, and they create a disorienting interior that makes it challenging for trapped prey to find an escape route. The cobra plant's digestive strategy closely resembles that of other carnivorous plants. It secretes a mixture of enzymes, including protease and chitinase, to break down the captured insects' tissues. This unique adaptation allows the cobra plant to flourish in the cool, flowing waters of mountainous regions. Its striking appearance and cunning trapping mechanism make it a true marvel of the plant world. Carnivorous plants exemplify the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. Through ingenious evolutionary processes, these plants have developed sophisticated mechanisms to capture and digest prey, allowing them to thrive in environments where nutrient availability is limited. Observing these plants in their natural habitats is a testament to the ingenuity of nature and provides a deeper appreciation for the complexities of the natural world. Conservation Threats Approximately half of the plant species assessed by the IUCN are considered threatened, vulnerable, endangered or critically endangered. Common threats are habitat loss as a result of agriculture, collection of wild plants, pollution, invasive species, residential and commercial development, energy production, mining, transportation services, geologic events, climate change, severe weather, and many other anthropogenic activities. Species in the same genus were proven to face similar threats. Certain threats are also positively correlated themselves, with residential and commercial development, natural systems modifications, invasive species, and pollution having positive associations. Only 17% of species had been assessed as of 2011, according to the IUCN. Carnivorous plant conservation will help maintain important ecosystems and prevent secondary extinctions of specialist species that rely on them such as foundation species which may seek refuge or rely on certain plants for their existence. Research suggests a holistic approach, targeted at the habitat level of carnivorous plants, may be required for successful conservation. That's all for today. Please like and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.